Great to have you with us here on our hot stove set for our hot stove segment. The yes Network.com. Bob Lorenz, John Flaherty, and Jack Curry with you. So Yankees making it official on Monday. DJ LeMahieu aboard for two years. You broke the news first. What does it mean for the Yankees? Well, it means they have a player who's a gold glove second baseman who, guys, they say they're going to try and use at multiple positions. They'd like to try and use him at second, first, and third. He's mostly been a second baseman in his career, so we'll, we'll see how this pans out. And if you are reading the tea leaves of where the Yankees are going, by adding a two Lewitsky, by now adding a LeMahieu, that is telling you that they are not moving in the direction of Manny Machado. And talking to some people over the weekend, and the vibe I got from the Yankees is that that is not a marriage that they expect to happen. Now, until Machado is actually signed, sealed with another team, there's always a chance that something could change. But, Flash, we're seeing with their moves that they're telling you that Machado doesn't seem to be a fit. No, I agree with you, and congratulations on breaking the story because I didn't see this one coming anywhere, really. I mean, it kind of surprised me. And then you start to break it down and say, how is LeMayu going to fit into this lineup? Where is he going to play defensively like Jack said, a second baseman who can play first, can play third. We'll see how that looks in spring training. But I think the big thing offensively, he's a right-handed hitter who drives the ball the other way. Has hit a lot of ground balls in his career, but started to get the ball in the air more last year. So you wonder if the analytics department sees something there and says, maybe at Yankee Stadium getting the ball in the air a little bit more and a high-contact guy, which is what we heard at the winter meetings. A lot of the Yankee executives saying, we have to do a better job putting the ball in play. Mayhew definitely does that. But in listening to you all offseason long, Jack, you've said he, Machado could go to the Yankees at their number. Do you think the door is 100% closed yet for Yankees fans who wanted him signed? Boy, you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> I don't think it's 100% closed, but I think it's pretty close. I think it's in the 90 percentile because they're showing you with the decisions that they're making that they're moving in another direction. One quick thought about Machado and the Yankees from some reporting I did over the weekend. When the Yankees started to meet about Machado in the offseason, there was a division in the room amongst their baseball people. There were some people who were in favor, and there were several people who were not in favor. When you're thinking about a contract of that size, and you have some powerful voices in the room who are saying, we don't want to sign the guy at any price. To me, it's going to be hard to get that entire room to agree. So I think that's the situation that they're in right now. There's some talk about the other offers that are out there, and the White Sox, there's been one report that they're at 8 and 250. I always thought that if the Yankees got Machado, it was going to be at their number, and I don't think their number ever got to that point. From what I was told, they never even made him an offer. All right, so we've ticked off a bunch of things that the Yankees have off their list. Looks like maybe last piece could be one more piece for the bullpen. Yeah, one more bullpen piece. I mean, Adovino is obviously the biggest name on the free agent market, a big strikeout guy from the right side. I mean, that would be a perfect fit. You don't know financially if that's going to fit into the equation with luxury taxes and all these different things that are going on. But Brian Cashman said he wanted two pieces for the bullpen. He brought back Britain. Britain, he's going to need one more piece. All right, that's going to do it for now. Keep up with Yes's social media feeds and YesNetwork.com for the latest on the Yankees. Plus, make sure to check your listings for airtimes of Yankees Hot Stove. Take care.